Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. This is my dad, Father Praxis. Here, is that okay if I call you that? Sure. Okay. Uh, he's helping me out a little bit, uh, looking for some... But you guys remember, or you might recall, that I had been doing a root cellar slash fallout shelter recently, and I abandoned the project because it was at my first homestead, and now I'm working on building the second one. Uh, uh, trying to think about how to actually do that, accomplish that whole thing, and at the moment, what I'm kind of thinking about doing is doing short walls on the side, concrete, and then like a curved radius, like a culvert, metal culvert kind of thing. But, Dad was trying to help me figure out how to actually do that. He's the smart one in the family. He's an engineer, so he knows how to do things properly. I know how to do things properly after like trying three or four times and getting the errors out of the system. So he's giving me a hand with that, trying to look for some options that I can use for the roof. The idea of doing a a curved arched roof uh, would be great because it can take a lot of load. And my thinking at this point is that primarily this is going to be a root cellar and Possibly at some point you might have some reason why you want to turn it into a fallout shelter, you know. Who can imagine what might happen? But the idea is that I think maybe I would just leave the roof as is for most situations because as long as it's insulated, it'd be a perfectly good root cellar. And then if you ever wanted to, you could shovel dirt over it and you could do something like that. So we're kind of playing with that idea uh, you know, right now. But largely what I wanted to share with you guys in the video is what's going on for building the second homestead. Now this is just part of the process and it, it's kind of illustrative of what the whole kind of process oftentimes is where it's a lot of kind of bumbling about and, uh, you know, figuring out how to do things, you know, reinventing the wheel, so to speak. And it, a lot of times it feels like it shouldn't be like that because it's like people have done this kind of thing before. But if you're thinking about starting your own building project, building your own homestead, uh, I wanted to give you guys a sense of kind of what it feels like to do it. Because I've been through it. This is my second time uh, doing this. And this time feels just about the same as the last time I was doing it. Uh, the first time when I built the, the homestead that you guys are familiar with, the general feeling of putting that place together, doing my own general contracting and everything, was me feeling, man, I must really be doing something wrong because this feels like this is the first time that anyone has ever done this on the planet. Like, interacting with all the town officials and everything was like, you know, it, it wasn't dreadful and I don't want to criticize people, but it was not very streamlined. It seemed like it was the first time a building permit had ever been pulled in that town. There were all sorts of mistakes and people, uh, forgetting to tell me things that I needed. This time I've learned from that experience and it's still pretty much the same thing. Uh, right now we're about halfway through September while I'm recording this. I don't know when I'm going to release this, but right now it's halfway through September and the original check that I had written out for the building permit is dated in July. Uh, it's been several months and every single time that I go to the building inspector, there's kind of an oops, there's something we forgot to tell you that you need to have kind of moment. And that's been going on for months months at this point. And this being the second time I've done this, my sense is that that is not atypical. That if you are planning to do a building project, this is kind of what you should expect. And the reason I tell you that isn't to try to discourage you guys. You should absolutely do your own building project. It was the best financial decision I ever did in my entire, uh, I, the best financial decision I, I ever made in my entire life. Building my first house, I saved so much money. It was very educational. I felt a great sense of accomplishment doing it. It's a wonderful idea. You should definitely do it. But if you go into it thinking that it's not going to be a ridiculous pain in your ass and there are not going to be all these absurd frustrations, then you're going to get really frustrated when you're doing it. But if you go in realizing it's going to be ridiculous, you know, when the ridiculous things happen, you won't be so frustrated. So my general process has been, like I said, I went in and I was all ready to get the building permit. I asked them, what do you need from me to get a building permit? And they give me a list. You need this, 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 and this. So I got them that, 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 and that. Went the next time. They looked through it. They said, this, uh, this is great. You know, you're all ready to go. Uh, you know, it's getting a little bit late for the office hours. Why don't you uh, write out the check and, you know, come, come by next time at my next office hours, which were two weeks from then. You know, the, uh, the town office where I'm doing the building, they're all, people are only in the town office two days out of the month. So, like, whenever there's a mistake, you know, you lose two weeks there. So, you know, I was ready to come by, back the next time, sat down with them. I was first in line, jumped in, and... Oops, we forgot something. So 
I lost two weeks there. So I went back and I had to get this other thing for them. So two weeks later, I come in, I finally get everything. I show up, you know, at, you know, during their office hours and they are going through everything. They're like, oh, okay, okay, uh, you know, oh, wait a second. Uh, did we not talk about this thing? So yeah, and then I, you know, got that other thing, showed back at the, up at their place again, and we're all ready to go, uh, you know, because I got everything. And then there's like some weird thing where the property, had, it's on two roads, uh, it, it's between two different roads, and mm -hmm. I want to have a driveway off of, you know, the road that I want to have the driveway off of, and other people live on that road, this, you know, it's a residential street. Uh, but the, the official address of the property is for the other road, and that's a big deal. Apparently, that is like, that's a huge issue. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it, you, you can't start, you know, and you know, we've got to fix this. It, it's a paperwork issue. It's not a real issue. It's, it's, it's a relic, an artifact of the way that they do their, their record keeping. Uh, but that's my problem. <laughs> you know, we got to work through this. And the next time the people uh, are meeting is several months from now in December. Uh, that's when they, they, they can meet and they could maybe officially change the thing. So we're trying to like work through that and, and they're thinking, you know, maybe I can kind of start doing some work, but this is what the process is like. So if you're thinking about doing your own building project, you have to be prepared for the idea that there are going to be delays. They're going to be what you think are stupid delays. I don't want to be judgmental, but they seem like stupid delays to me because there's not an actual problem with anything. Everything's ready to go. Even, even uh, I guess there's also a problem with my driveway permit, uh, you know, as to whether or not it's safe to put, a, you know, a driveway in that area. But currently, the road crews are using where I want to do the driveway as their plow off area for the road. So, you know, in in real life, in the real world, there's no real issue there. They're they're actively already plowing my driveway, but it's just it's just a paperwork issue. So as you're planning your project, make sure that you pack into your, uh, your schedule, your, your imagined schedule of when you would like this stuff to happen, obscene amounts of additional time. My project for this year, my goal for this year, uh, starting back in January, for over the next 12 months, was to get my paperwork in order, get some excavators in there to kind of clear the area, and put in a foundation. I had no illusions that I wanted to try to rush and actually do any building this year because from my last project, I tried to do it all with them all within one year, where you know I figured, well, in the spring we'll do the site work. You know, they'll you know maybe midsummer I'll have the foundation and I can start building. It wasn't until September first during my last project that I was actually able to start swinging hammers, and uh, that was a huge rush when you know it's starting to get cold. I mean, it's not fun to work out in the cold. I mean, have you ever hit your hammer, uh, hit your thumb with a hammer in like on a warm summer day versus when it's cold? It hurts a lot more when it's cold. So it's just. If you can avoid doing that, it's, it's beneficial. I guess the bugs are worse in the, in the summertime. But anyway, I felt a huge amount of rush because snow's coming and I need to get the roof on and everything. So I want to avoid that this time. So I gave myself a good year just to get the foundation in and then, you know, backfill the foundation so that you don't get frost under it. And then first thing in the spring, I'd already have my materials delivered and I could just start. But even that, even the idea of getting my paperwork together and you know, doing a little site work and pouring a foundation, you know, at this point, it seems like, you know, maybe we'll be able to scrape it through in 12 months. So, like I said, as you're planning your project, put in all this buffer time, put a lot of buffer time in, and try not to put yourself into a situation where delays are going to be a problem for you. Prep against the idea of delays. I mean, that's what we're doing here. We want to be prepared for things. And one of the dangers that you should be preparing yourself for is the, the danger of putting yourself in a situation where it becomes a problem that your place isn't done yet. Make it so that you don't have to feel like you're in an enormous rush. Don't like sell your house <laughs> and then go out somewhere. Prepare for the idea of massive, ridiculous, seemingly unnecessary delays. How's the research going? Yeah, slow. There you go. That's it. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Don't lose heart. You should definitely do building, but be prepared for it being a huge pain in your ass. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.